Hey guys, I'm coming at you from our photo studio here at Unique Corporate, and I am going to start going over some new products that are coming out that I know you all are gonna be as excited as me. Okay, what I'm gonna start with though are the matte splurges. <sighs> right? Okay, um, the finish on these, the textures are going to leave your mouth watering. It is so amazing. Um, they're cream, but finish in a powder. Honestly, the most velvety texture finish, flawless. Just think smooth. Um, you're gonna die. So, what I'm, what color I'm gonna show you today is actually Happy, which is more of a taupey kind of plum color. Let me just show you really quick. Can you see that? It's so pretty, you guys. I use the matte splurges before any pigment or eyeshadow I apply. It just helps the colors grab so much better, last longer. These matte splurges, honestly, I cannot get enough, okay? So applying wise though, I love the cream shadow brush. I love it because it's synthetic. The bristles are nice and tight, so it really helps to get the product on there nice and smooth. So I'm gonna go ahead. I like to start with less, less is more. You know, we've all heard that. But, um, I mean, that's about how much I have. And to start, I actually like to angle my brush downward. That way I can get the color as close to my lashes as possible. I personally like to do my eyes before I put my mascara on, but I'm kind of working, and so we're gonna go with what we got. So again, I like to angle it downward. Let me grab my mirror real quick. Okay. So I am going to go right into my lash line. I actually don't like to do big pulls. I like to do smaller and even stipple. That way I can get the color where I want it and then smooth it out. Okay, so again, right in my lash line, let me grab some more product. So I'm trying to hold a mirror and the product at the same time. So going like that and going right into my lash line. And then as I move up, now I'm gonna take the brush a little more horizontal to help kind of start smoothing that out, okay? So just going in, stippling and doing little holes here and there. Now, as I get closer up into my crease, I like to angle the brush upwards. That way I can kind of start smoothing it out to build so everything will blend up. I didn't mention I have absolutely nothing on my eyes. I do not have the eye primer. I might have a little powder up by my brow arch, but I have nothing on my eyes, okay? So now my brush is facing upward. I'm going right into my crease, patting, and just kind of going back and forth to start blending that out, touching up a little. But again, just really little movements. So I kind of like to do a rainbow to get that color on. Um, I'm gonna move to the crease brush right now. So this is our crease brush. And I'm honestly, I'm not adding any more product. I'm just gonna do the rainbow to kind of move the product. And then I'm gonna do little circles to help blend that product out, okay? So I also like to start kind of where my brow arches, okay? That way the color goes more up there than there or the outer corner. Again, just for this look. It's up to you what you wanna do. But I like to start here, do my little rainbow window wiper back and forth, just to help soften and blend the color, okay? And then the little circles to help blend it out. Now, I am angling the brush a little more downward because I want to go up a little bit. You can also go more in, and that will keep the color where it is. Angling your brush will push that color a little upwards, which I like because I have a little heavier of a lid. Um, so I'm just angling my brush downward to kind of blend that out and push that color up a little, okay? So again, back and forth in little circles. You guys, this color just makes me happy. See what I did there? But honestly, you could add any color, glamorous perhaps over the top or even in the crease absolutely beautiful. Um, there's so many colors coming out, but the finish on these is amazing. I can't wait for you guys to try it, and I can't wait to see your looks. Bye, guys.